Hi, my name is Maria from the Business Career College, and today we'll be looking at studying for your LLQP exam. So we'll start at bcceducation.com. To log in, we'll just use the credentials that you were receive, you received in your welcome email. So your username and password as indicated. And we'll go ahead and log in. This is the Business Career College um, BCC Education site. This site can be used to go to your courses and also as a career management system. Uh, to start studying, just go and click on my course, which is at the very top. When you click on my courses, it'll take you to our Moodle site, which houses all of your BCC education courses. We'll start off by clicking Harmonize Life Licensing Course at the top. So this is your life licensing program course. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, we'll see the course instructions. Welcome to your life licensing qualification program course. For this, you'll have access to five modules, taxation, ethics and professional practice, accident and sickness, life insurance, segregated funds, and annuities. The taxation module is not tested on its own, but will be tested in other, in the, within the other four modules. To complete the LLQP course, you must do uh, each of the following for each module. One, attempt the practice quiz. Two, score 70% on the mock exam. Three, fill the pre-exam student form. And four, score 60% on the certification exam. At that point, you'll earn a badge and you need to repeat the process three more times to, to earn the other three badges. Once you've completed all four modules, then you will be able to proceed and do your provincial exam. So as you scroll down, we have some general resources that we include. Um, there is the course instructions in the PDF form, uh, the LQB study schedule, and also the tablet user guide. Um, when you go to the provincial exam, they'll give you a tablet with the LQB textbooks loaded onto it. So it is just a user guide to know how to use um, that tablet when you go to the provincial exam. Next we have just below is the question form. Um, if you're stuck on a question, please post your question in one of the forms uh, below. Our instructor Bob reviews and answers all questions daily. So if you go to a form and uh, if you search and see if your question has been already asked, if it hasn't, just quickly write a new post and Bob will go in and answer any questions uh, that are posted daily. The next section down is, is textbook ordering. This is how you can order a physical copy of your LQP textbook. So each book is only available through the links below. And if you're ordering multiple books, please add the, all the books to your cart before completing your purchase to uh, reduce shipping fees. So all the links to each of the textbooks are as indicated um, below here. So as we keep going along here, uh, we have the taxation module. Again, um, the taxation module is not tested on. Uh, we'll have the first resource here, which is the taxation textbook. You can go ahead and click on that and um, you can print it off on your own if you'd like. And then after that, we have the taxation videos. These are the video playlists that we've compiled together uh, that will best pertain to the topic. So you can go through these videos. We do really uh, encourage you to use and watch these videos. And as we click back, uh, we'll go back to taxation. And the last thing we have there is ta the taxation form, which is the same form as shown above. So here we have the ethics and professional practice module. Uh, first off, we have the code of ethics, which is uh, only with the ethics and professional practice module. It's just kind of a reference document that you can um, read through if you would like. It is not mandatory. Ethics and professional practice fourth edition textbook is the next reference we have. Um, uh, if you click on it, we can open that document up and for this 
This is a PDF form, so you can print off any uh, pages you'd like if you want to print it off on your own, or you can go back and order the textbook uh, printed and bound to you. If you scroll down, this is what um, the first few pages of the textbook will look like. Next, in the Ethics and Professional Practice uh, module, you have the video playlist, playlist, which are laid out similar to what you saw in Taxation. And uh, we have the Common Law uh, Practice quiz, quiz, which you must need to attempt first. So we'll just click on that one, and it will load and click Attempt Quiz Now. Uh, once you finish your quiz, it'll come up like this and you'll just have to scroll all the way down and click Submit All and Finish, and you just have to click that twice. Once you've finished your quiz, you'll actually have a chance to review all of your questions, and after um, you're finished with that, you'll come back to this page. Um, to go back to your main page, uh, just click the HLQP button here. It'll take you back to your main page. We'll scroll all the way down, and uh, when we get to ethics, we'll see that we received a check in the box right beside practice quiz. Next, we will go to the mock exam, which is the exact same process as before. Four. I went ahead and did the mock exam. Um, I didn't get over 70%, so I would have to wait another 24 hours before I can write the mock exam again. Once you have passed the mock exam, you can go ahead to the next step where you fill out the pre-exam student form. So we'll go back and scroll back all the way down to ethics. And as you see, I didn't complete it, so I didn't get a check mark right beside the mock exam. If you keep going, we will see that uh, there's also the pre-student form that you would fill out and also the certification exam. Once you complete the certification exam and pass with 60%, then you will get a badge. Uh, you'll repeat the process three more times until uh, you passed all four modules. We will just keep going ahead and looking. We have accident and sickness, um, same layout has, as um, ethics and professional practice the certification exam, we have life insurance, life insurance certification exam, and lastly we have segregated funds and annuities. And at the end here we have additional resources uh, and then also a guide to book your provincial exam depending on what provincial jurisdiction you are in. And if you want to go back up to the top of the page, just click that blue arrow pointing up. That'll take you to the very top. And if you have any more questions, um, you can reach us either by giving us a call at 1-877-934-5577, or you can click that support chat button, the green little button on the bottom right-hand corner. Um, if you have any technical difficulties, uh, some quick questions, if you have any um, questions about content, say a exam question that you can't quite uh, get through, uh, please post those questions in the form. Um, Bob will answer those. Uh, he answers them every day. And if you need any more help, he's there as a resource also. I hope this was helpful and good luck on your studies.